Romesh Corp, you're, you're yeah. into so many different things, right? Right. from hydro, banking, insurance, uh, mobile, uh, telecommunication, I'll just stick with that, yeah. technology. Right. Uh, cement, I'm <laughs> So, there's so many industries that you're part of, right? Uh, so many different things that your organization is part of. 2022, right now we are in July. Where do you see us in 2030, mm -hmm. in July, when we're sitting together? Mm -hmm. right? Where do you see all the industries, all the verticals that you have within your organization? Mm -hmm. What is the growth going to be like in the current scenario in your organization, Ramesh Corp? I just want to understand the eight-year to a ten-year path. What's, what's the vision that you see where your organization is going to go? Because I'm, 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 I'm saying it in a way that your organization already bought it, vision, you know, and you say you have a vision. So just, just give, give us a gist of uh, your plans. 10x growth, no, no doubt about that. Because, you know, I see uh, Nepalese economies, in a, I think, although we keep cribbing about it, you say that, you say that, where there are complexities, where, there's, where there is an opportunity ka huncha jahan complexities huncha jahan jahan dherai kura haru mileko hundaina so nepal is in the cusp of that right now you know we are around say 37 billion dollar economy right and jaile pani maile ke euta euta funda ke garchu india ra nepal ko population ko size around india ko is to nepal is 1.5% of population gdp pani tapai ko tesari move bhairako cha india aspires to be a 5 trillion dollar gdp by 2025 so if you take 2% of that nepal will be a 100 billion dollar gdp you know yeah. which is three times of what we are right now and so this like next decade, I think uh, what we uh, in Nepal have realized is we cannot be an import based economy. We need more manufacturing. Manufacturing means large scale, medium scale, you no, know, all, all the type of scale. So next we'll start selling hydropower soon to India now or to third country. And there'll be a lot of prosperity from yes. the money that we are getting, you know, uh, as an exporting company you know, from, from that. So looking at these two two or three basic things, you know, we are aligning our you know, corporation in a manner that we want to get into more manufacturing activities, at least two or three new uh, type of manufacturing plants in Nepal and to scale them to be a public company in future. That is very important, which, you know, my generation entrepreneurs should think of now and what we are seeing in the market. Like that is where like Manish Jiko private equity, you know, Tenzin Kozun uh, alternative investment fund will also come in and they would also pour in more money in like, you know, yeah. in, 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 why, why only startup businesses, also the real sector businesses. I listen to my family, 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 I listen to my family. It is driven by, you know, our own equity. Ke. But we have to open, our, open up our mind and open up our books and open up our company for like, you know, people like, you know, uh, uh, Manish Ji and Tenzin and others to come in and like, you know, put in their equity and give them a 10x return in future so by, my, by going public or by raising by, by raising more funds from more peas, you know. So I think that is a way to go in the future. So so we are preparing ourselves to, for at least, uh, you know, 10x growth, if not less, uh, Sanjay. Sticking with this, what is the main hurdle of not uh, growing into 100 times in the next 10 years? What are the hurdles, if that comes in your mind? See, um, Main hurdle would be, I would say, you know, political consistency, you know, consistency in uh, um, in policy making, you know, because we do not have a very clear growth path. You know, how we as an entrepreneurs in Nepal will thrive is what the political environment or what the, what the economic environment is going to be. So if you see, you know, our neighbors, India and China, you know, politics is going on, but they have a very clear economic mandate. By, once we have that, you know, if we have it in Nepal, we'll be this, this size of economy. This summer will be this size of economy. This, these, are the, these are priority sectors, you know, that government is looking into. Then the, the investment from private sector, FDI, everything will pour in automatically, you know. Till date, we do not even have a country rating because we are insecure that if we get a country rating, we will be rated in a manner that Jun Ali Ali Paisa Pani Bairabad Ai Rakosa, Te Paisa, Future Ma, Aundena Wala. So before in the podcast, I was telling you, right, we, yeah. we, as a Nepal, as a country, we are still very insecure. Okay? We don't talk about our positives and capabilities, but we are always, you know, pondering on, on our negatives and how incapable we are. So the day we change the, the change that mindset, since Nepal is entrepreneurial ecosystem, the mindset China. We are always positive. We are always looking for like you know, uh, new investment, growth, and the kind of ROI is even like you know, the entrepreneurs in Nepal are getting. Sanjay, it is not like it is not a joke. You know, I'm telling you, if, even if you look at South Asia. Or, or other regions as a whole, Nepal still ROIs are very, very good, but we have not we have not been able that able to market that well because 
government government or like the policy makers have not been leading us into that direction so the day they start embracing uh, private sector more you know and the day they have a very clear like 10 year 50 20 year 30 year goal i think then there'll be a 100 100x growth if you love what we are doing make sure that you subscribe and turn on notification thank you very much for watching us on youtube make sure that you also listen to us on spotify this program is brought to you by Via Studios.